What's up, everybody? My name is Tony. I'm here with another Warframe Guide video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Sacrificial Silva and Aegis Prime. I have two builds here, before, but before we get into that, I'm going to show you the appearance of this weapon because it looks pretty sick just by looking at it. So I'm going to show you what I have here. This is the Silva and Aegis Day of the Dead skin. Obviously, you can only get this on the Halloween update or Halloween event that comes out. And it's not that uh, expensive, it's pretty cheap. You don't have to buy the entire bundle when you get this because it comes out in a bundle, but you can just get it separately if you guys want to. And out of all the dead, Day of the Dead skin, this looks actually really good, better than most skins out there. Um, I also have this skin here, but you know what? When this weapon comes out, I mean, when this uh, skin comes out, it looks like a pretty sick uh, skin here. It looks like a lightsaber basically as well. If you guys can look at it, it looks like a lightsaber. You can still see the blade on the weapon, but again, it looks like a lightsaber. So it's pretty sick. I like this. So, the attachments I have here would be the Pyrosugatra. The holster style would be defaulted, as always. Because the other holster styles, they look, I don't see a difference on them. As you guys can see here, if I click on every single one of them, it doesn't look that different, to be honest. So, I'm just going to put it right here. I don't, I don't really care. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the builds right now. So, I have the ribbon of this, obviously. And it is a 3 uh, ribbon disposition, so obviously you guys can get a ribbon if you guys want to. Uh, for this, uh, I have a 56 attack speed, 1.9 range, and a code of 88.2. So that's three stats that's actually pretty good that I wanted, so I'm not going to reroll this at all. With Dirt Range, I don't need Prime Reach, and with the attack speed, I don't need Berserker. With Weepy Wounds here, North Wind, Shocking Touch, as you guys can see here with Organ Shatter, I have a hybrid build of both status and crits, 80% of course, and the crit multiplier 3.8, which is pretty decent, it's good. Range at 435, that's actually pretty decent. So, with this in mind, I'm going to be proccing both Blast and Corrosive. So, with this build, it's not only going to be attacking Cor uh, Grenier mostly, but also Corpus that would do a lot of damage as well. But I have another build for you guys that's kind of similar to this. And also keep in mind that Sylvan Aegis has an innate fire uh, damage here. So, no blader, no uh, slash, impact, or puncture uh, damage here. Just straight up hit, uh, heat. So, Keep that in mind. So I have here a similar build like that, but I have only Drift in Contact and Berserker. Replacement of these two mods. Because you need attack speed on this. And obviously you can't... Um, you can, oh, you guys can get Prime Reach, but with the 360 procs, as well as the dash and the range attack you can do with the combo here. I forgot which combo it was, though. Uh, you don't really need range that much, but... I do recommend range if you guys want uh, to get that last mod slot. Replacing drifted contact with range, of course. Otherwise, uh, with 5.0 combo duration, which I think most weapons have, uh, it's pretty pretty little. So drifted contact here will probably help a lot with the status as well, as well as the combo duration. So I just put it there. Again, you guys can replace this entirely for primed reach if you guys want. Obviously, I don't have space for that, so that's another down right there. Um, Northwind, you guys can replace this with um, Prime Reach if you guys want and want to keep direct in contact. But it's up to you guys, really. It's all up to you guys. Me, I just put in two two type of statuses here just in case for weapon wounds and such. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the combo as well as the damage deal. So I'm gonna go first with the ribbon actually. So let me show you that first. Again, this is a personalized build, but if you guys got the stats for these, then you guys can uh, make a build like that. It's gonna be 170 heavy gunners. I'm going to show you the first combo, attacking without moving, attacking while moving, uh, blocking and attacking without moving. So as you guys can see, let me show you guys something about this real quick. So. As you guys can see, there's like a little green energy that sticks out of the sword sometimes. I'm not sure if that's a range attack or not. It's kind of weird because you guys can see how much damage I do. Like, check out, watch that last uh, green on at the end. I think I can hit it. No, I can't hit it. So that range is pretty insane. I'm not sure if it's because of the ribbon, but somehow I'm shooting out an energy blade. I might be wrong on this. Yeah, I somehow hit that heavy gunner all the way in the back, which is probably a slam, basically. But it's pretty decent. All right, let's go back to the combos now. So attacking while moving and blocking. All 
Alright, so those are the combos and the damage for that ribbon build. I'm going to show you the other build that's without a ribbon. Obviously, it's going to do less damage than usual, so keep that in mind. Alright, attacking without moving. Attacking while moving. Oh, he went down. Attacking while moving without blocking. Wait, actually, wait, no. Attacking while moving while blocking. And attacking while blocking but not moving. So you guys, I don't know what that green energy is. You guys can see that, right? So that green energy is coming out of the sword. I'm not sure if that's an attack or not. So hopefully it's just aesthetic purposes. But also, when you guys, this is another fun fact. I'm not sure if it's because of the skin or not. But if you guys can see that I am also, when I'm attacking, I'm kind of lighting up right now on my Hildren. So it happens to all characters. I mean, not all characters, all Warframes. But I'm not sure if it's the skin itself or it's because of the weapon itself. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, so those are the three, uh, not three, those are the two combos, I mean, <laughs> two builds right there. Obviously, one is superior than the other, which is the Riven version, because it has all three stats, but, I mean, when it comes to killing level 170, you should not have a problem. It does take a while to kill them, because you're not doing slash or puncture damage, uh, no, no procs for those, so you're going to be doing status, and you do need to rely on your corrosive to even uh, diminish the armor slash, or, or diminish the HP and armor of the uh, Grenier's. So... Hopefully this guide helps you guys a lot. Give it a like if you guys do. Subscribe to support my channel. Until next time you guys, peace out.